Can you imagine and picture in your mind an environment of teaching and learning design and architecture that is taking place in an individual's office, living room, kitchen, basement, or backyard, while students and the instructors are holding the constant fear in their minds that they are engaged in performing an illegal act and the location at any point of time might be raided, they might be arrested, and their work might be confiscated and used as evidences against them. This is the environment of teaching and learning at the Baha'i Institute for Higher Education, BIHE Architecture Program, and what faculty and students have been experiencing for the past 15 years since its inception. In 2005, I was approached by a number of architect colleagues outside of the U.S. As an experienced educator in, in the U.S., I was asked to assist them with the development of an architecture program for a group of minorities of Baha'is of Iran who were deprived of higher education. This was an amazing story which a group of minorities, because of their religious beliefs, were deprived of their legitimate right for higher education. The Baha'i Institute for Higher Education, or BIHE, was established in Iran in 1987 in response to relentless persecution of the Baha'i community and denial of access to higher education to Baha'is. This was a part of a general campaign of the government for cultural cleansing and elimination of social mobility for the Baha'i community of Iran, which is the largest religious minority in that country. Probably because of deprivation and lack of opportunity to participate in the society, they possess the most powerful wellspring of social idealism besides all the skills and knowledge that they have gathered related to architecture. The BIHE was the only path I had for my higher education due to the Iranian government's policy not to admit Baha'is into Iran's state-run university system. My thesis project at the BIHE, similar to many other students' projects, was inspired by the challenges we faced and the values we are seeking for our society. I designed a human rights cultural center in Tehran. The center was a dream for justice in a society where pursuing education and many other basic human rights can be considered a crime. به نظر من یکی از چالش ها توی بیایشی عدم تناسب فضا و معماری این مؤسسه با کاربری دانشگاه هست. در واقع اتفاقی که میفته اینه که کلاس ها توی خونه ها تشکیل میشه و در حالتی که ذهنمون فضای خونه رو محیطی برای آرامش، دور همی و مهمونی میشناسه لازم تلاش کنیم توی این فضا روی تحصیل آموزش تمرکز کنیم و انضباط یه فضای آکادمیک رو نگه داریم. کلاس ها حتی تو رشته مثل معماری توی خونه ها و زیر زمین ها برگزار میشه که این شرایط رو خیلی سخت میکن. امکان همکاری و استفاده از منابع آکادمیک خارج از جامعه شدیدن محدوده و حتی کارهای جانبی خیلی ساده مثل یه سفر آموزشی میتونه خیلی مسئله ساز بشه. As citizens deprived of their universal human right for higher education, Students of the BIHE under the most restricted circumstance have been able to become well-versed design thinkers and problem solvers with requisite knowledge and skills as future architects. Some of these students with a passion to advance themselves have been admitted to prominent architecture institutions of the world such as Harvard GSD, Yale, UC Berkeley, UCLA, AA London, Delft, and more. This is the story of how architecture education has become a means to provide resiliency and sustainability for a community of the citizens who have otherwise been deprived of their legitimate human right for education and personal advancement. Mm -hmm.